And here's the second way. All I've done here is quite literally used the Unreal VDB plugin to load the cache. That's the cache there, just plugged into a level sequence and I've got no shader. I'm just using the black body and the temperature grid inside the volume to display something. And it's displaying it, just like we did in Bifrost. So that's how we get VDBs into Unreal. That's how we get explosions into Unreal. There is a document linked to this video, which goes through the steps of creating a sprite sheet. And this one, I'll put a link to the plugin as well. And hopefully you can go ahead and start making some cool explosions in Bifrost and then using them in your games. Thank you very much.